All right, uh, let's look at the homework 3.5, problem number three. All right, so let's find uh, the derivative using uh, implicit differentiation. All right, so uh, since I don't like square root, I'm gonna rewrite this guy as um, quantity seven uh, x plus y raised it to the one half power. All right, then I'm gonna take the derivative uh, with respect to x. All right, so uh, this is just a power rule. I put uh, one power in front. Keep the inside function as it is, 7x plus y. Subtract 1 from the power, negative 1 half. And then multiply by the derivative inside. Right, derivative 7x would be 7. And derivative y is dy over dx. Right, and this is equal to and derivative 4 is 0 since 4 is a constant and this one uh, we have to use the product rule here right so we take the derivative of the uh, first guy so it's 2x times y squared plus and keep the uh, x squared as it is and multiply by the derivative of y squared which is 2y then uh, times dy over dx, right? So we have that. So we need to solve this equation for dy over dx. Uh, we're done with the derivatives, but uh, we still need to solve for dy over dx, right? So uh, let's do that. Uh, first thing I would do is uh, I'm gonna try to get rid of this guy by multiplying by its reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply both sides by uh, reciprocal of one half would be two and reciprocal of this guy is quantity seven x plus y to the one half power right so if you multiply that out uh, uh, these guys cancel out so you're just gonna get the seven plus uh, dy over dx uh, which is equal to, right? So you're gonna have, let's see, so two times two is four. Then you have uh, x, y squared. Then we have this guy. So I'm gonna actually uh, go, go back to square root of seven x plus y, which is just this guy right here, right? And then we have to multiply this guy by the same thing. So you have a two times two again, four. Then you have x squared and the y. And then you have a square root of uh, 7x plus y. And we still have dy over dx. All right, then I'm going to uh, move um, terms around. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna probably move this guy right here. right over to the left hand side and move seven over to the right hand side right so uh, we can do that um, let's see so this guy on the other side becomes so, so negative so I'm gonna just uh, put the negative oh, actually first we have dy over dx right so this becomes negative uh, four x squared y uh, square root of 7x plus y right dy over dx right so on the right hand side you have 4xy squared square root of 7x plus y which was already on the right hand side and seven on the big, uh, other side becomes minus seven, right? Then we can uh, factor um, dy over dx, because those are in common. So factor this guy out, then you will get um, dy 
over dx, factor it out, right? So from here, if you factor dy over dx from itself, you get 1. And here you get uh, 4x squared y, square root of 7x plus y, right? And this is equal to, the right-hand side is still the same, so 4xy squared, square root of 7x plus y minus 7, All right? And the last step, I'm going to divide through by this guy, so we get... Right, dy over dx is equal to uh, 4xy squared square root of 7x plus y minus 7. This is going to be divided by 1 minus 4x squared y square root of 7x plus y. All right, so uh, let's type this guy in. All right, so what we found was, uh, so that's going to be a big fraction. So 4xy squared and the square root of 7x plus y and minus 7. And on the denominator, we have 1 minus 4x squared y and the square root of uh, 7x plus y and uh, and that's it All right so let's um, submit for testing all right uh, I came back and it uh, looks like we got this one correctly All right that's it I hope that uh, this was clear